Hey guys, welcome to episode number 118. Today is Wednesday, so it's DIY Wednesday. And today I wanted to introduce to you a DIY air diffuser. Now, I know a lot of people buy air stones for their aquariums, whether it be for fish or turtles or whatever. And uh, sometimes those are even placed in filters. Um, you know, they're a great item, except for the fact that they uh, tend to break down and, uh, you know, after a while, you just have to toss them out and get new ones. Uh, some of them even have uh, discard a stone on the packaging, so you know they're not going to last. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like that's a little unnecessary. I feel like there are ways around that. And so that's why I set out to make my own DIY air diffuser. And this is where I started. Uh, essentially what this is, is a PVC fitting here. Um, it's slip by slip on both sides. And I think this is a half inch fitting. And what I did here was, if you can see in, in the middle there, um, there's a piece of uh, PVC board, uh, the Sintra or the Comatex that I introduced uh, in my previous video. There's a piece of that in there which is a circle and it was cut to the same diameter as the PVC pipe that is meant to go uh, inside this fitting. And what I did there was I, uh, I made a bunch of holes, small holes. Now granted, uh, they probably aren't small enough uh, because if you look at these bubbles, the bubbles are still fairly large. Uh, but what I did was I used a uh, a pin here and I heated it up with a flame and then I was able to uh, punch a bunch of holes in that PVC board uh, and what that allowed me to do was create my diffusion surface alright uh, what I did was I, I went ahead and PVC cemented that in place and then what I also did was I took another piece of the PVC board and I cemented a bottom plate uh, in place as well. So what that did was it created an air chamber in here uh, which allows the air to collect uh, kinda like the jet lift tube video and then it allows all of the air to pass through all these tiny holes and escape out the top kind of like what you see here. The last thing I did was I drilled a hole on the side and then I inserted a uh, an airline uh, T connector and I actually uh, I terminated one of the ends and filled it in so it's actually an elbow now and uh, when you connect an airline to that that supplies your air your chamber fills with air and then the bubbles come out the top uh, if I was to do this again I would probably make the holes smaller so that these bubbles are smaller but uh, you know I'll walk you through the evolution of what I've done here so this was my first prototype it worked fairly well and from there what I wanted to do was I wanted to make something that was weighted something that I could place in my tank and it would always stay on the bottom uh, so what I did here was I have the same thing except uh, my PVC board is cut into a circle and then I have a piece of slate which is also cut into a circle and those are bonded together with uh, some JB weld water weld uh, epoxy and uh, that stuff is uh, safe for potable water so it's safe for aquariums I think it takes about 24 hours to cure and uh, that seems like it's it's holding on fairly well there uh, I scored the underside of uh, the piece of flat PVC and then the, the, the slate stone was irregular enough that you know it allowed the two to bond uh, fairly well together. I'll pull this out so you can get a little bit better view of it. And uh, I did do a, still got some water in it. I did do a few things differently here. Um, one thing I did was I used a true elbow. So if you can see here, this elbow looks a little bit different. Uh, these were designed as actual elbows. Uh, they come in a four pack here from Tom's. There's two left in this box. I think that was 99 cents. And uh, so that's one, one part that's different. And then obviously you see the slate here, which I was talking about. And uh, that's bonded to the plastic there. And uh, other than that, I've just got a, uh, a gray piece of uh, you know, PVC instead of the, uh, the white PVC connector. Uh, but other than that, it's exactly the same. It's weighted so it can go back in my tank. 
without a problem. And uh, I suspect that uh, that one is going to last pretty much indefinitely. Uh, it's not going to fall apart like an airstone will. So uh, hopefully I'll get a good uh, long life out of it. Uh, you'll notice that the top of the PVC is white and that's actually because that epoxy got on my fingers and I was a little bit messy with it and it ended up kind of spreading out all over the surface of that black uh, PVC board. So uh, the next one that I did here, this is a, that was a half inch, this is a three quarter inch uh, fitting. Uh, what I did here was I, I taped the top of the uh, the PVC board before I applied the epoxy between the PVC board and the slate, and uh, that allowed you know a nice clean finish there. Uh, so that looks a little bit more professional. Uh, I made a few more holes in this one because uh, I've got more uh, surface area to to work with here. Uh, inside the pipe but uh, it I mean it looks like the airflow is going to be about the same no matter if you have a half inch or a three quarter inch so you know whichever one you prefer uh, is fine and again it's weighted so those two are exactly the same except for the fact that uh, I did this one a little bit neater and it's a larger size pipe now this is the last one that I created and I haven't tested this out yet um, I won't test it out in this video, but I may show you another video uh, at a later point where I test this one out. This is a, uh, a one inch pipe, uh, a one inch tubing, and as you can see, uh, there's no elbow connector on the outside. Uh, I wanted to make this even more clean looking, and so what I did was in that PVC board that's in the middle, I drilled two holes and I stuck a couple of straight airline connectors in there. And again, uh, Tom's makes those as well. They come in four packs, the same price as the elbows. And uh, what that allows me to do is connect two airlines to one uh, of these uh, larger diameter uh, air diffusers. And uh, if you see back there, I've got a, a fairly large air pump and it indeed has two uh, airlines attached to it. So something like this uh, might be a better option for a larger tank, like a 55 uh, plus gallon tank. Whereas, you know, one of these might be better off for a smaller tank, like a, a 10 or a 20 gallon tank. But they all work exactly the same way. Uh, this one, actually, I used uh, silicone on. You see some sticking out there a little bit in between. Uh, I used regular silicone on instead of the, uh, the epoxy, the, the JB water weld. And uh, this silicone seems like it's, it's sticking, it's adhering these two uh, surfaces just as well as the epoxy did. So that's probably a cheaper option uh, to go with. It is also uh, aquarium safe. So nothing to worry about there. So I won't be buying any more epoxy uh, to create these, but uh, you know it is a good item to have in my in my arsenal here. But anyways, guys, those are DIY air diffusers. Uh, if I revisit this, what I'll probably do, as I said, is uh, show you this one in action, and uh, I'll probably also make smaller air holes here so that uh, my bubbles are a little bit more fine. Uh, this is a fairly large uh, pin that I used here. So uh, I can definitely get smaller holes uh, than the ones that I've created here. And I think that might result in a finer bubble and uh, less surface disturbance and maybe a little less noise. But if you can hear, it's not all that noisy. I mean, if, if I just had a straight airline tube, the bubbles would be making a little bit more noise than, than what this is doing now. So uh, I'd call this a success. Again, I've got a few things to modify to really uh, get it working. Uh, but yeah, consider making one of these. It's not that difficult. They're going to last forever, and you won't have to discard them. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later.